encrypting my Google Cloud resources with Cloud KMS keys has never been easier. Thanks to Cloud KMS Auto Key, I can generate customer managed encryption keys on demand as resources are created. In this video, I'll be diving into how to set up Auto Key and create resources so you can generate encryption keys at the click of a button. First, I'll start with a few one time setup tasks. Before you can use AutoKey, your organization's security administrator must complete the following one-time setup tasks. Enable Cloud KMS AutoKey on a resource folder, and identify the Cloud KMS project that will contain the keys that AutoKey creates on your behalf for that folder. I'll refer to this as the key project going forward. I'll also use the term resource project. That's the project that will contain resources like cloud storage buckets, secrets, and persistent disks that will be encrypted automatically thanks to Cloud KMS AutoKey. Then create the Cloud KMS service agent and grant the service agent key creation and assignment privileges. And finally, grant the AutoKey user role to AutoKey users. Once this initial setup is complete, you'll be able to create resources and immediately protect them with AutoKey. Although I'm able to create resources using the Google Cloud Console, I want to explore resource creation using infrastructure as code. That's because I want to ensure that my provisioning and configuration logic is stored in source control, so I can take advantage of continuous integration and continuous deployment pipelines. Additionally, I can treat infrastructure provisioning and configuration the same way I handle application code. Just like application code, using infrastructure as code ensures my Cloud KMS auto key setup is visible and discoverable across my organization. I'm currently in Google Cloud workstations using the Cloud Code IDE. So far, I've defined Terraform resources that complete each of the setup steps. I've created a folder in my organization and named it auto key Terraform demos. Then, I created a key project, named it AutoKey KMS Management, and placed it in the AutoKey Terraform Demos folder. The key project has one purpose, to store all of the Cloud KMS keys created when a user requests a key. But we still need a project where users can create resources and protect them with AutoKey. So, I'm creating that project and I'm naming it AutoKey Protected Resources. I decided to enable the Google Cloud KMS, Google Cloud Storage, Compute Engine, BigQuery, and Secrets Manager APIs so that I can create resources within each of those services and encrypt them using Cloud KMS AutoKey. After that, I created the Cloud KMS Service Agent. The Cloud KMS service agent for a key project creates keys and applies IAM policy bindings during resource creation on behalf of a human Cloud KMS administrator. I've assigned the Cloud KMS service agent Cloud KMS administrator permissions so that it can create and assign keys on behalf of our users. And that's all. With those few lines of Terraform, I set up Cloud KMS auto key for a folder, created a project to store my encryption keys, created another project to create all of my resources, created a Cloud KMS service agent, and assigned it the Cloud KMS administrative permissions. For each new resource I will create, I need to create a key handle first. A key handle is a Cloud KMS resource that helps you safely span the separation of duties to create new Cloud KMS keys using AutoKey. When I create a key handle in a resource project, Cloud KMS AutoKey will create a corresponding key in the key project on my behalf. Key handles allow me to manage Cloud KMS encrypted resources without elevated privileges, since I can retrieve the Cloud KMS resource ID of a key created by AutoKey from that key handle. And while I may have various permissions on the resource project, I don't need any permissions on the key project. As I define my key handle, I have to specify the resource project ID, the name of the key handle, the location, and the resource type. However, key handles create and hold the resource ID of a single key. If I want to create a new cloud storage bucket 
and encrypt it with a unique key, I will need to create new key handles. For this video, I'll stick to one bucket with one key handle. With my key handle defined, I can now create a Google Cloud Storage bucket. I've defined a bucket name, a location that matches the key handle location, and specified the KMS key name as the ID of the key created by my key handle. I also want to create other resources, including persistent disks, a BigQuery dataset, and a secret in Secret Manager. So I followed the same step for each resource. I created a distinct key handle, specified the resource type, and created the new resource using the key handle as the encryptor. Now, let's run Terraform Apply. Once the Terraform Apply operation completed, I accessed the Google Cloud Console and was ecstatic to see all of my resources. I was able to create and encrypt a cloud storage bucket, a compute engine persistent disk volume, a BigQuery dataset, and a secret in Secret Manager, all with infrastructure as code and Cloud KMS auto key. Better yet, my key administrator can easily see all of the keys I've created alongside the resources they're protecting. I'm so glad that AutoKey simplified my usage of Terraform for key management by removing the need to run infrastructure as code with elevated key creation privileges. To simplify your usage of Terraform for key management, check out the links in the description. See you later.